Hey guys, it's me, Art of Wonder, and today's video is about what's on my iPad as well as what photo editing apps I use. And um, basically, I get like every time I upload a picture on Instagram, a lot of people um, ask me what apps um, do like what apps do I use for my editing and I choose never to reply because I use several apps and it just takes time and effort to make that comment and I don't know so I thought of um, making a video so it's helpful for you guys and easy for me to explain pretty much and it's cool to show what's on my iPad you know and yeah so mainly let's get started so um, first as you can see I have I have messages over here and I never use that and then I have Google I have the App Store and pretty much just like a regular old App Store and I have several updates that I have to do so yeah um and if you wanted to know my background which is just like I'll show you the picture right now of my background I have several pictures, so please don't mind. So this is my background. And basically, it's just like in a moon-type sunset type thing. And I don't know, I thought it was really pretty. So, yeah. So, um, after the App Store, I have the camera, which is very useful. Um, I have the photos, then next I have the calendar, which you can't really see that well, right there. Then I have settings. I have settings, then I have contacts, uh, I have the clock, photo booth, which I rarely use, uh, reminders, notes, I have several notes, uh, the iTunes store, newsstand, maps, calendar, like any other ordinary iPad pretty much random stuff which is not important facetime and game center then these are the down the ones down here are the most important which is my facebook page which i like to check on a daily basis to see what's up and you know yeah and i so far i have 104 likes so if you would love to check on my facebook page the link will be down below for you guys to do that and yeah it's just a regular uh, Facebook page that I do daily updates on, like as a Twitter, pretty much. But instead, it's on Facebook. And you can also message me on my Facebook page as well if you wanted to contact me, so it's pretty cool too. And then next is iMovie. Oh lord, I look so wretched. <laughs> uh, iMovie, which uh, I don't quite use um, a lot, but I use like... I used to use it a lot, but now since I have a camera and I have um, editing software, I don't. So, yeah, I had to pay for iMovie, so it wasn't for free, sadly. So, yeah, if you were wondering. Next is the fun part where I have all, a lot of apps. So, this is mainly all my social network type apps things. And I have several. So, let's get started today. So I have Facebook as my first one, which I won't open that. Uh, I have my Instagram, which I'll open that right now. Like any ordinary Instagram. So this is my Instagram, if you guys were wondering. And you can totally follow me, that would mean the world. Mainly, these are all my pictures, and I will show you how to edit a picture shortly. But yeah. Then I have Pandora, which I barely go on since I mostly use the iTunes music radio. Uh, next, I have Snapchat, which I, you know, goof around with my friends on that. Um, I have Uvu, I have Twitter, and my Twitter is just like any other Twitter. I barely go on it, though, but at time to time, I do go on it so I can get quotes from other people because I really like quotes. So, yeah, so any other Twitter, my Twitter link will be down below as well. Next, I have my Pinterest, which I technically just go on it to be inspired with DIYs and stuff like that. It's a pretty cool app, I do have to say. Um, mainly, it like when you want to do some DIYs or anything, um, it tells you like how to do it and gives you several ideas on it. So, I give Pinterest a thumbs up when it comes to this stuff. 
So here are a few like ideas and stuff, but mainly I would look at an idea and like say for this picture, I will look at it and then be like, oh, what can I do different to make it my own? So pretty much that's what I do on a daily basis when I'm bored and I want to make a video. Then I have Tumblr, which I use as well as like the same way as um, Pinterest. Uh, I like to look at DIYs and transparents, which that's um, how I usually get. I'm spelling things wrong. That's how I usually get my little images, like um, add-on little sticker picture type things. Oh my god, I'm spelling things wrong. Like how, um, I'll show you an example in a minute when you see it. But mainly, these are transparents that you can use like little add-ons for your photos. Like that. But these are movable. But let's say this dollar sign, I could eat. Okay, that's movable. Alright, all these are movable. Okay, so basically I think you get it. But these are movable, so... I'll show you an example in a bit. Then there's my kick, which you can easily contact me through kick as well if you want. Um, my YouTube app, which I don't go on it. I just go on YouTube through Google. Um, Hobby Lobby, which I like to go on that for like coupons and things like that. Uh, next um, is my photography, which I have several apps. So I'll just go through the ones I mostly use all the time. So mainly the most used one is Pic Pixar, which I find this app so fun to use. I think it's an awesome app to use, actually. So let's say if I wanted to edit a picture. I'm trying to see what picture I would want to edit. I barely have any pictures. But, you know. Here, I'll just pick this random one of me and my mom. So, um... Let's say I would use several filters on there, and let's say if I wanted to pick that filter, I would be like that. And then I can easily add a photo, and like this one. And then I would darken it, so then you don't see the white background on it, and I could put it right there, and it easily looks normal on the picture. So mainly that's what you call it transparent, but you would um, mainly use these to change that but this is how it looks normally with the white background and when without it it'll look just fine and it'll blend into the picture so it's pretty cool i like that and yeah i mainly use this for like if i want to add transparency onto my picture or if i like want to add filter and then this is what i use for fonts which i had to purchase over so it wasn't cheap whatsoever so let's say if I wanted to write my Art of Wonder, it has several fonts and you can change the color of it as well. So I'm going to put it black and I'm spelling things wrong. And then um, let's say that's one font or you can do this one if you want, if you can see that. Uh, this one which I always use all the time or this one. Or this one but it has like a lot of options for you to use if you want but that's an app that you have to pay for but this is a free app font candy which I on a like daily basis I sometimes use so it's a pretty good app so basically it'll tell you whether whether you want to crop it or not you know, just press the check mark and then you can either blend it like that and it's pretty cool and then like let's say i want to put tati as my nickname and for the color you could change it as well so we can see the picture and you can change the color and you can go all the way and it'll be like that but it's like a fun app to play with so yeah I don't know, it's really random. And then for like if I wanted to use blur, I would use big big bleh. I would use big lens, but you have to pay for this one as well. As you can see I paid for most of my apps because you know it's 
it's cooler like that, I guess. And I used this one, which was for free, and it's a reflection app, which I use time to time, which, um, basically you can just reflect your picture like that. And it is pretty cool. Um, you can either do it like that or put it all the way this way like that so show both of them and then you can switch switch it like that or like that so it gives you options for that app as well um i use this one as well a lot and basically it's to get my white background so like Aria Queen, I can make it tiny, I can turn it, I can do whatever with this one, and you can easily save it, and that's how I get my white background. Next, um, I use this one now when I want to like post charm pictures, and um, basically it gives you like symbols and stuff like that, so yeah, it's pretty cool. You can change colors, it gives you fonts and stuff, so that one's pretty cool, and that one was called Pix Shape. So yeah, it's pretty cool. I use tags for likes to get several likes on my pics as well, which I get carried away with that too. <laughs> I use lens lights to get like different types of lights as well. And this video is getting really long, lord. <laughs> but um, yeah. So um, let's say if I wanted to do that picture, I can change, like do that. And I can add some effect to it. And then I can edit it. I can edit it down here and all that. Change it, put the scale up, change this. Filters, uh, let's say you wanna put a red filter, any type of filter, let's put a blue filter. Textures, um, you can add multiple textures, but you just play with it, you know, it's just random. Oh, next I use this one as well for like uh, filters as well, nothing important, just like Pixar in a way. This one I use to get little hearts on it, just like Lensite, similar. Uh, Insta frames, just to get several frames on it, nothing important. Uh, Rona, Rana, whatever that one is, is to get like quote type pictures on it as well, or if I want to crop a picture in a certain way. But as you can see, you can get like quotes like that, nothing important really. And yeah, wave cam, I got that one so then I can easily put my hand out and it'll take pictures of me while I'm posing randomly. And yeah, it's pretty cool. And uh, yeah, mixtures is so I can get like um, shades of colors in my pictures as well. It's pretty random. But um, yeah, I pretty much am sure I named all my most important apps that I usually use for everything. But uh, next is my games, which is just all the general games, nothing important. Flappy Bird's pretty cool game, and yeah, it's nothing important. And these are all my, like, watching TV type things, and this one changes my voice and speed app. And yeah, it's mainly all general apps. Um, I'm sorry I couldn't show you how to download the music, but it's pretty easy. When you get the app, it'll sh I'm pretty sure it'll show you, and yeah, but that's pretty much it's i think i've shown everything um i pretty much sure i did so i really hope you enjoyed this video if you have any questions please comment down below i'm sure to explain to you um and answer your questions because i'm not sure if i answered all of your guys questions and yeah and that's pretty much it so i really hope you enjoy thank you guys so much for watching please press the like button if you love taking selfies that's pretty awesome. Um, please do press the subscribe button. I want to thank you guys for all the support. And make sure you check out my Monsters, Inc. Randall video. Because I got a lot of feedback on that. And I really, it did put a smile on my face. So, um, yeah. Please give me a thumbs up for that video as well. And, um, yeah. Check out down below in the links for, like, all my social medias and all that. And please do request any more videos. Because I did struggle on making a video today because i had no idea what video to make so make sure you do request because it would be really helpful and yeah that's pretty much it so thank you guys so much for watching and thank you for the love and support please do stay tuned for more videos in the future and yeah thanks for watching guys bye